In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a Google Meet uh, link so that your students are not able to join your Google Meet session without you in the session with them. So to do that, we are going to open a new tab and we are going to go to meet.google.com. From here, we're going to click on join or start a meeting and we need to give our meeting a nickname. Now you can choose if you would like to create a new meet link with a new nickname for each class period or each section that you teach, or you may choose to use the same um, nickname or the same Google Meet link for all of your sections. So um, you can decide that in how you nickname your meeting. So I suggest using your last name and maybe your class period if you're going to separate by class period. And then just click continue. Now it's going to get ready for you here. Go ahead and turn my mic off and my camera. Okay, and notice I haven't clicked join now, so my meet hasn't started yet, but I do have my link ready here. And it shows my uh, nickname, my meeting code here. So what you'll wanna share with your students is for them to go just to meet.google.com and you can create a link for that in your Canvas course for them to click on. And then it will ask them, it will allow them to click join a meet and they will type in your meet code here. So let me show you how to do that. So we're going to go into a Canvas course. And whether you use a button to share the link so that they would just press on the, uh, you know, the button in your course and be taken to, taken to meet.google.com, or you could simply just paste the uh, link to the meet.google.com in a page on your, uh, or in your course. So let me go ahead and create a new page. So I just created this page just so that I'll have a, a place to um, have my students click to go to meet.google.com. So obviously you wouldn't want just the link in here, but you'll um, be able to see my point. So I have given them the code. They know exactly what to type in. I'm going to turn this into a link. And the link is just meet.google.com. And you can see now it is linked here. I'm going to click Save and Publish. So now it is available for my students. So remember I have created that link, but I have not actually joined or started this meet yet. So let me show you what it looks like on the student side before you start their meeting. I'm going to minimize this screen. I've logged in as a test student. Okay, so we're gonna have them go to the course. So once they um, click on the Google Meet link, let me open my page. They'll see, okay, this is my join code here. So they could either copy, so that they could just paste it in or they could just type it in for the join meet code. It's going to open the uh, meet.google.com. 
I'm going to click as a student, I'm going to click on use a meeting code. Notice I don't have any other option here to create a meet or start a meet. I can only join. So here I'm going to paste in my meeting code. Left off the end there. Or I could type it. Once I click continue, notice it says I am not allowed to start a meeting. That is because my teacher has not started the meeting for me. So as the teacher, if I go ahead and join that meet as the teacher, And it is Malik Digno 2 is my join code. So now I'm back as my student. My teacher has started my Google Meet session. So if I type in my code now and click continue, it will now let me into the Meet. So you'll want to make sure that if you are um, worried that your students will join your Google Meet session without you in the Meet, you'll need to create a nickname and share the link to meet.google.com with your students and then let them know what their join code is to get into your Google Meet session.